Usyk called the most powerful Ukrainians Lomachenko joined the defense. Boxing world champion Oleksandr Usyk said that the Ukrainian people are the most powerful in the world and do not need liberation by Russia, and boxer Vasil Lomachenko joined the Belgorod Dniester territorial defense. Usyk's direct speech, Dear Ukrainians, I want to speak to you now. You are the most powerful people in the world. I am very proud to be Ukrainian. I want to tell you all thank you. You are the power. Then Usyk spoke to the Russians, you are not at war with our government, not with our army, you are at war with the people. This is our land, we are here at home and we are not coming to you. We don't have to let go, we'll let go ourselves. The Belgorod Dniester Territory Defense Battalion has been formed and armed. Our fighters will maintain order in their hometowns and prevent saboteurs and looters. Vasil Omachenko will be with us in the defense of terrorists. Previously both boxers considered the conflict situation with Russia ambiguous. Usyk declares that Crimea belongs to God, and his return to Ukraine depends on man and God. Vasily Lomachenko is on top of a mountain monastery in Greece suddenly in the midst of solemn silence he hears a call to take up arms but his manager forbids, you have a beautiful house in California, take your family there to escape, you endanger your fight responders, managers and all the championship titles you've worked on. Lomachenko replied, they have endangered my country and on Sunday Loma was seen wearing a combat uniform with an automatic rifle. New members of the battalion territorial defense rose across Ukraine on Monday as did reigning heavyweight champion Alexander Usyk. Usyk has tens of millions for a rematch with Anthony Joshua but he also feels he has no choice. Now all three heavyweight champions are willing to die in their defense, including Vladimir Klitschko and his brother Vitaly. What would you say to a Russian? Back home, you have nothing to find here. If Putin's squad has met tougher resistance than expected it might have something to do with the national character of Ukraine and something about that character has been revealed in the ring since 1996. Ukraine has won 15 Olympic boxing medals and produced 8 professional champions. Boxing is a real fight, boxing is supposed to be a fair fight and war is never fair. Greetings, sports. Always, keep sportsmanship. Greetings and greetings, from Boxing 2022. You would tell to Russians. Go back home, you have nothing to find.